Now joined on Mass and All Access atop the dugout here with the Delmarva Shorebirds, Caden Grenier, yep. which, by the way, I, I will say, I got your name wrong for the first three months that you were with the Orioles organization. Everyone seems to think it's Grenier, but on the record, it's Grenier. Yeah, that's that's just how we pronounce it. And like I was just telling you a minute ago, like yeah. I've never never just sat there and been like, no, you're saying it wrong because it's close enough. And a right. lot of people say like that, so I just kind of let it go. But we, as our family, say Grenier. Okay. Um, my my uncle says Grenier, the French version. So it's like, okay, Beautiful. well, we don't even know how to say it. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> It's not a big deal. Gotcha. So now we've got a consensus on yeah. it, for the most part, at least on our side of yeah. things. You grew up in Las Vegas. You stayed there uh, in the same house, mm -hmm. you said, your entire life. Yep. What was it like going from Vegas up to Oregon State where you played your college ball? Oh, well, it's basically going from 300 plus days of sun every year to, you know, 300 plus days of rain every year right. up in Oregon, man. Uh, you know, it's it's a tough environment to, to live in, uh, especially going from Vegas where I'm not used to not seeing the sun for very long. Yeah. But, you know, the, the summers there are great, even though I don't get to, you know, I was never there. I was playing summer ball somewhere or at home. So, uh, you know, but it, it was an adjustment the first year, but then I knew what to expect. So my, my sophomore and junior year weren't nearly as bad. Gotcha. And a tough place to play in terms of the expectations because that's a premier program, obviously. You win the College World Series when you're there. Mm -hmm. What is that like, that whole experience? You're playing pretty much in the spotlight your entire collegiate career. Well, I mean, I, I expected nothing less. You know, I knew I was going into a program that expected to win. You yeah. know, they've won two national championships. They won in 06, 07. They mm -hmm. went in 05. I mean, we were like the seventh or eighth team to go to the College World Series. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and so we expected to do that every single year. And the coaches' expectations were that. And they held us accountable, you know, in every way to make sure that we were getting ourselves there. Right. Uh, you know, but that's that's the kind of environment I wanted to be in. I didn't want to go to a college that was like, hey, if we make it, great. If we don't, have a great summer. Right. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that's that's not what I was looking for. And that's I uh, got exactly what I was expecting. That's awesome. And that shows the kind of competitive nature that yeah. you have as a player. So you come to this team, Delmarva. This is the first professional team that you come to and you join. You've split time this year between second base and shortstop. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a natural shortstop. What's it like learning that new position? Well, luckily for me at Oregon State, I actually played third, second, and short throughout my three years. Okay. Uh, my freshman year, I played third. My sophomore year, I played about half the season second, and then switched over short, and then played the rest of my sophomore and all my junior at short. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't completely new to me, you okay. know, now, but now I'm doing it a little more consistently than I have been the last couple of years. Uh, just getting back readjusted to playing there, you know, every four of every five or something like that and then switching back over to short mm -hmm. uh you know it's it's been pretty easy and i think i was i was lucky enough to go to the oregon state where they made us learn how to play multiple positions because they wanted us to be as versatile as we could right uh you know so come in and having to split time was no big deal that's awesome and, and adam hall you've been splitting time mm -hmm. with as well what's your relationship like with him and how has it grown this year uh, I mean, Adam's great, man. I love it because Adam just comes and, and he does his he does his job and he just wants to focus on the business. And, and so when we're out there, you know, we, we joke around and stuff a lot. But at the same time, you know, I know he's over there or at short or second, whatever I'm not. And I know he's going to do his job and that's what he's focused on. So, yeah. uh, you know, it's been it's been a good good person to switch off with. Your calling card, obviously, coming out of Oregon State was your ability to play all those positions mm. and play them very well. Have you always taken a lot of pride in your defense? Uh, I would say over the last few years, I've definitely taken a lot more pride in it because I've seen that, uh, you know, I've proven to myself the things I can do on defense. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think, so for me, I take a lot of pride in it now more so than maybe I did in, in high school because in high school, I just, I you know, I hit and play defense better than most people in high school. But now it's like, wow, I really can play defense, you know, better than most people. So I do take a lot of pride in it now. That's awesome. And at the plate over the past few weeks, the month of May in particular, you've been spectacular, really been turning it around. You hit one homer all of last year and you've hit three so far this year. How, where did that power surge come from? Uh, it's in there. I just, you know, I'm just trying to get more consistent with uh, what I'm doing at the plate. And, and the more consistent I get, the more barrels I'm going to find and, and the more balls I'm going to hit out. I mean, um, you know, so I, I've been lucky to, to be put in a good environment with good coaches right now where, you know, they're looking out for me and, and, and letting me do what I feel like I need to do, but also helping me as much as they can. Uh, you know, and so I think I'm getting more consistent at the plate and now it's it's starting to translate a little more into better results. The offseason shake up in terms of the Orioles front office, they add Michael Elias, they add Sigma Dell, and they kind of bring in a new approach to things. How have you experienced that? Have 
there have you seen a greater emphasis on analytics? Have there been been more hands-on coaching, maybe? Uh, definitely the, the analytics and the and the technology has been bumped up. I okay. mean, you know, we have stuff in in the locker room and and whatnot now that we didn't have last year when I got here. Uh, it's things that I've never used or seen before. Um, so definitely the technology that's going to help the analytics has definitely been emphasized. Uh, the coaching style, not not so much. I mean. Okay. Coaches are basically the same. They're new coaches, though, for me. You know, the only coaches I've had are Buck Britton and, yeah. and those guys. So they're just different coaches. So this is probably just their coaching style. So I know no different. Gotcha. And you guys, obviously, are on fire right now as mm -hmm. a team. 33-9 and nine at this point. That's more wins, by the way, than any team in Major League Baseball mm -hmm. currently. And you've played fewer games than all of them, of course. How have you guys rallied as a team? It seems like whenever the bats aren't there, the pitching is there. Whenever the pitching is there, the bats are there. So you guys are really picking each other up it seems like well we just don't panic nobody panics when when we get down or when you know we go out in the first inning and give up four runs or something we go okay well we're gonna score more than four runs i go <laughs> so nobody panics man and, and i told somebody this day i go we had a game where we got uh no hit through eight and a third or whatever it was and we scored seven runs with two outs yeah and won the game you know yeah. what i mean so there's just no panic in our, in our dugout when things like that happen because I think we just have so much trust in everybody's abilities here that we know we're going to be able to come back uh, like we did last night in Kannapolis or, yeah. you know, ninth inning down one or two or whatever it was and come through and we win. You know what I mean? So it's just knowing that we have the ability to do that has, has helped us a, a lot. Well, it's been fun to watch from afar and we hope you guys keep it up. Yeah, we do too. Caden Grenier joining us here on Masson All Access. Shortstop, second base, he can do it all.